All right, Cole Hawker just ran 350 in that mile. Last time I talked to you, I don't, I, I always feel like you don't like losing. But how did you feel about that race? Where did you grade it? Yeah, I still don't like losing, even <laughs> even if it's uh, the best in the world. Um, <clears throat> and uh, yeah, I was just talking to you about. I I definitely felt like I kind of got boxed in. Um, but kind of stepping away from this race already, I'm able to look back and see. I know my fitness is there. I know. Uh, I still have that uh, punch in the last 200. Um, it was just kind of tactic stay in the last 150 that got the best of me, and uh, kind of uh, unfortunate today, but still gives me confidence moving on, just knowing that was my only. Does the confidence downfall. come more from the time, or does it come from like measuring yourself up against like that international talent? I'd say more so measuring myself up against them because. Um, to be honest, I, I had no idea where we were time-wise. Yeah. Um, Cooper was like, that wasn't that fast. And I thought we were maybe ran like 353 or 354. <laughs> um, but I mean, yeah, it is it is also a big confidence boost to be able to run a 350 mile like that in such a tactical race where it's not set up like a time trial like me and Cooper had done indoors. Um, so being able to know that, I feel like that means I'm in sub-350 shape on not getting bumped around and whatnot. When you think about the 15 and the championships, do you think there is a time that it's going to take with, you know, last year in the Olympics being like the fastest, the fastest Olympic final ever. Do you think about like the certain time or shape you have to be in? Yeah, yeah, I mean, um, you know, getting there and getting to the final, it's going to be um, more or less pretty tactical. Um, no one wants to show all their cards in a preliminary round and even the same with USA's and I think after last year I know um, that I have to get myself and I see myself getting down to that sub 330 shape if I want to have a legitimate shot at a, a world medal and a world gold medal at that. Yeah and um, what was I going to say? Dang, I just brain farted. I had a good one. Wait. Since the world, champion, since the world championships in 2019 the dynamic of the 1500 has changed where you're not going to see a kicker's race like you saw in 2016, you know, that was one in 350. Have you trained differently knowing that's pretty much the way the championship races are going to go now? You know, pretty much since I've been on this world stage, um, that's kind of when that switch happened. So I, I never went into these, uh, these big races um, anticipating for a super slow sit and kick like it had been in the past because you know my first Olympics and six guys under the previous Olympic record so it's kind of just um, I'm in this now and that's the way it is and I think that should be the way that it is it should be the fastest miler fastest 1500 meter guy comes out on top not the best kicker on the on the day last time we talked to we were talking about that adjustment of being like a college to pro and like you're racing a lot less but I feel like this was like this is like a big opening meet for like the track and field world do you kind of feel a little bit more like comfortable or like relief now that you got in that actual big race against big competition yeah definitely um, you know we've been me and Cooper have been doing a lot of hard training a lot of <laughs> really quality work and I'm um, just going down to uh, uh, Mount Sac last week that was really uh, not <laughs> trying to make excuses but it was a training session and it was yeah. built into our week um, and so you know racing and not having that sharpness that I usually have when I taper for a race um, can affect your mental state, but then being able to focus on this race, um, just sharpen up for it just a little bit more, put that extra emphasis on it, and then seeing where I'm at compared to the top guys in the world, um, yeah, that, that helped me a lot uh, confidence-wise. Anything you think you need to work on or you want to focus on before going into USA's? I think I'm just uh, going to keep the same path I've been on. Uh, like, like I told you, uh, just came down to that 150. Uh, small tactical error can kind of cost you uh, today two or three positions. And uh, I guess if I have that uh, insight in the future and uh, ability to think on the fly like that, I'll uh, sharpen that up a little bit as well. But just keep working on the fitness. I think we have a lot of room to grow. And uh, yeah, I'm ready to keep going. All right, congratulations on today. Thank you, bro. Other 